Hi Scorpio, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your reading now for the week of October 30th through November 5th. I have pre-shuffled these decks, or this deck for you, and I am going to use two other decks, but I'm only going to pull one card. This may or may not resonate as it is for hundreds and thousands of people and I could not read everybody who watched this generally, okay? So I'm only going to shuffle for a moment because I did pre-shuffle. And I will zoom this in. I do consider the reversals in every single card. I don't need to have them reversed. I'm looking for positive messages, but if they do come out negative, I will certainly tell you, as I have in all my readings. <laughs> I have no problem with that, but I'm trying to provide my viewers with positive messages above all. But if something is meant to come out negative, it certainly will. All right. I have faith and trust in the divine that they will give me the proper message. And if they don't, then it probably wasn't meant for you. You have to be open to receiving the messages. Okay, that's a pretty big thing, and I know that most that Scorpios are. There are a lot of cross watchers that are watching for your for their Scorpios. So that message was probably for them because for the Scorpios that are watching this, I know that you are very divine, and that you have a divine connection. Okay, and you believe. I know that you guys are open to receiving. I I truly believe that. So, the basis of your reading is the Ten of Pentacles. So, that tells me that there's a lot of security and stability this week. That's fantastic, okay? Perhaps financially. This is intended to be a love reading. We'll see what comes up. Your divine connection is showing up beautifully here, by the way. Okay, it is. Your divine connection is real and, you know, doing very well. Um, I think that you have a lot of balance this week and you may be really feeling like your life is getting back together, like things are coming around for you, like there's more balance and harmony this week. Um, perhaps you're, you're letting go of any negative um, things in your life or you're just putting them in the background for now. You're not focusing on those. I feel like many of you are just, um, there's some, there's some uh, time of uh, reevaluating your future. So many of you are going through a period of reevaluation, wondering or thinking about how something needs to end. Okay, something needs to end and you know that it does. So you're just trying to focus on how, what, where, you know, how, what, all that. Okay, I think that some kind of uh, truth has been made known to you and you know exactly what this is okay you are you do you know exactly what this truth is it's no secret to you um, and perhaps you've just been waiting for the right time you've been waiting for it to come out and it is gonna come out the truth is gonna come out all right or if somebody if you're questioning whether something is the truth or not the answer is yes Okay, the answer is yes. Do not doubt your inner guide. Okay, do not doubt it. It is giving you the answers that you seek. If for any moment you have been doubting it, don't. Okay, because this reading says that you are right on. Okay, I feel like many of you are not feeling loved. Okay, I think that that you're or you're not feeling like. Um, you're not getting the emotional support that you desire or you're not offering the emotional support to somebody maybe you're just focusing on yourself right now okay like this is for hundred, hundreds and thousands of people so bits may resonate over here and not over here okay I do feel like um, we have a lot of uh, thoughts going on okay a lot of thoughts and some of them um i think that you are keeping at bay okay i think that you are working on keeping negative thinking at bay i think it tries to creep in and you're pushing it back out because you have the power to do that i do i think that things negative um energies are around you 
and you are kind of like keep keeping them at bay. It's like you know what I can I'm gonna I, I hear you I feel you I see you, but I'm stay back stay back. Okay, so it feels like you are you have the control over your emotions this week. And that's where your stability and your security comes into play because you are completely in control this week. Okay, it's not like anybody can and can bring you down. Okay, no matter what they say, they can't bring you down because you got this under control. All right, I see you being very stable this week, stable and secure in who you are and in your mind as well. It's like you you have this clarity about you where nobody can break you. Okay, it feels like um, it's just a very balanced week because you're not letting anybody control your your emotions. All right, I get. I'm just shuffling while I'm still looking at the cards. We do have the tower here next to that Ace of Swords, which tells me that something has broken down or it is going to break down probably cause an ending okay it looks like an ending could be coming that you know about okay that you've been waiting for but it brings you it brings you this stability and security that you've also been waiting for okay and i think that you know whatever whatever this is that breaks down you're prepared for it okay So we, we do have Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius here pretty prominently. Here we have you now. Um, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Aries. And we have Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Okay. We have a lot of players a lot of players. There could be some jealousy. There could be some um, strife in your life, okay? There could be some challenges and some conflicts. Definitely, it seems like there's some power struggles here. Now, this can be in a relationship or this can be at work because there is, you know, the basis of your reading could be have to do with work because this is finances and the strife could be at work and that could be affecting your thoughts. It's like, you know what, I'm just going to pretend this isn't happening. I'm just, I'm trying to work through this to make the best decision. Okay, with that hermit there, it tells me that you're reevaluating, you're focusing, you're trying to make a right decision about something, you're taking your time about perhaps you want to leave something. I don't know if it's love or a, or a job, but something, I feel like you're not, you're not feeling it. You're not feeling it somewhere with this eight of cups and this four of cups. You're just not feeling it. You're ready to go. Okay. And it, it's like it's, something is ending. This is a completion, a completion of a negative cycle. Okay, something negative is going away and, or you're thinking about getting rid of it. Put it that way. You're just, you're just not there. Okay. And if you, and this change is on the horizon. It is, it's coming. It's time for you to make a decision. All right. It's affecting you in a negative way, but you're, you're blocking it out pretty well, but it is, it is definitely affecting you in a negative way. And it might affect your finances, whatever this decision does. It might affect your security and your stability. And that's why you're taking a good long time to decide what to do, okay? Um, we do have you here, and I feel like you are here just that says that, you know, you know what? Use all your past life experiences to help you make this decision. Use all your all the experiences, your life experiences, you okay? Use them to help you make this decision. Remove yourself from any drama, okay? Remove yourself. You've done everything that you can do. You have. You've done everything you can do. There's no reason. There's no reason to, you can't, you have, there's a door that needs to be closed with this nine of wands, okay? There's something that, you've done everything you can do. There's, there's nothing more that, you, there's no more growth there, okay? There isn't, okay? The next card is a completion where you finally let go, all right? 
So I think there's been some uh, drama somewhere in your life that you may be letting go of or you're contemplating letting go of, you know. And I think that, you know, this is supposed to be a love reading. And they'll, so this could be love or this could be work. But I see that many, of you, many for many of you, this is focused on your job. Okay, it really is. But it could be focused on a partner as well. Um, there's change on the horizon because I think you want more excitement. You want more stability. You want more security. You want to be creative. You want to show what you can offer. You want to give what you can offer. You want to show your passions. You want to um, be passionate about who you are. And I think that that's where this change stems from. This change stems from you just not feeling it somewhere and, and needing to let something go. So this week is about reevaluate that reevaluating your future stability and security and what matters the most to you. I see that something is ending and it could be a job because this is a 10. This is a Ten of Pentacles. It could be a job. could be a move in home. It could be a change in your home. It could be somebody moving into your home, moving out of your home. It could be regarding finances. Like I said, it could be a job. There's a completion. There's a lot of completions here. Okay? I think cycles are ending. I think we have a lot of players here as well. I think there's been some harsh actions that is provoking you to reevaluate your future. And it may cause you to leave something that no longer serves you. That you're just, there's, there's, there's no passion there. There's no love. It's, it's over. It's, it's time to move on. I'm going to get you one of my angel guidance cards. That's yeah, a good one. And I'm going to pull one of my Archangel Michael cards as well. I knew it. I remember when I told you you were divine. You have a divine connection. I don't know what that card says. I don't think I've ever seen it before. But I think that you have a very divine connection. And from what the top says, guarded and protected, you are protected by the divine. I'll never forget that. You have a divine connection. Have confidence. Moving forward does not necessarily require you, to, require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough, along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers, and we will buoy your courage and faith. Have confidence. Have confidence. Okay, I think many of you are ready for something to end and you're reevaluating what to do after it ends. How, who, what, where, when, that's what you're evaluating and you're coming up with the plan. Guarded and protected from Archangel Michael, my prayer. Thank you for protecting my loved ones and me, ensuring that we're safe and that all of our needs are met. I now accept your help gratefully and gracefully, knowing that it's right for me and all others to accept heavenly assistance. These cards go hand in hand. Have confidence in God. Have confidence in God's plan for you. Follow your inner guide. God's with you. Your God. Not my God. Your God is with you. That's what these cards say. Use that to your advantage. Like I started this reading out. I did that. That all happened for a reason. This reading started out with your divine connection for a reason. Guaranteed. Use that to your advantage. 
That's what they want. The more you use it, the stronger you become. That's what I have, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed your reading, and I will talk to you next week.